Hi YouTubers, so I wanted to make a video about the rabbit run that I constructed myself. Obviously you've seen some pictures that I took of the basic assembly, but now you can see in the video it's 90% completed. It's actually 100% completed as far as I care to build it. Um, I'll show you some pictures of how it is right now towards the end of the video, but this is pretty close what you can see here. Basically it's the first full woodworking project that I have done and I've mainly got my inspiration and ideas online and from someone I knew who built a chicken coop in their back garden. As you can see it's a fairly large run and it's heavy. That's not the sort of setup you want to have if you're going to be moving it around on the grass all the time. The frame was constructed from 2x2 two two treated timber with wire mesh and some OSB board on the roof and the upper levels that you can see. I used some shared roofing felt for the roof and also for the ramps along with some thin wooden flats to provide traction for the bunnies when they're going up and down. I also used a sheet of plywood for the entrance panel into the first level where I've cut an archway. You can also see I've started to put shiplap boards to shield the upper levels from the weather. You'll see in the pictures towards the end I actually changed that to another type of similar board which gave a better look. I've used only hand tools for this project, um, save for the jigsaw which I used for the archway. Everything else I cut with a hand saw and used the mitre box for angle cuts, blood supporting corner braces and the roof. I've deliberately omitted to use any wire on the bottom of the run because this is uncomfortable for the rabbits to walk on and can cause health problems with their feet. I was also moving the run every one to two weeks so the rabbits could graze on fresh grass regularly and so if they started to dig the holes would not get big enough for them to burrow their way out. I think it's important for me to mention as well that the rabbits are not permanently out in the run. They're mainly out there only when someone is home and can supervise them. I've actually now moved the run onto the patio area, which you can see just behind where the run is situated in the video. And this is mainly because the run is too heavy to be moving all the time and it was also damaging the lawn because of the weight when it was being dragged. So this is the completed run, apart from this little section here, which I will probably add some more shiplap boards just to um, board it up, and then I might put some boards underneath um, the run itself and then raise it up on bricks, just so that the wood doesn't rot in the winter months, but still if we get a good day, then the rabbits are able to still go out there and use it. So the only thing you can see here that's different to the previous video is that I put a door in at the side so that if I want to catch the rabbits and they decide to run into the back then I, I have another access point. I can also put things like their beds or food and stuff in the back more easily. Things that I would do differently, I would make it either lower and just concentrate on one level if I was to do a scale, or else I would make it high enough so that I was able to, to step in there comfortably without having to bend and stoop and risk banging my head on the wood every time I went in there. Another thing I would do differently, um, as I said, bearing in mind the fact that this was my first full woodworking project, is that I would make the door slightly smaller. The reason being that the wood um, expands when it's wet and because the door is a semi-tight fit when it's dry, when it becomes wet, it requires a bit of persuasion actually to close. Other than that, I'm happy with the project. 